Hi, I'm Dr. Tammy Condis, and today I'm going to talk about one of the more annoying problems for children, and that is pinworms. Pinworms are very common. It is estimated that about a billion people worldwide have pinworms, about 40 million in North America, so your child may be one of them. The good news about pinworms is that they really don't cause that serious of a problem. The main problem they cause is itching in the anal area, so it can really be more annoying for you and your child than anything else. They're most common among young children because those are going to be the ones who are sticking their hands in their mouths more. They can get them from their friends, Friends. They can be spread in the sandbox or other close contact with other kids. If you suspect that your child has pinworms because they're frequently itching their anal area, contact your pediatrician because there are some other things that can cause anal itching as well and your pediatrician will want to rule those things out. The way that we check for pinworms is actually to either see them and sometimes at night when your child is sleeping you can actually see the tiny little gray worms um, in the anal area or your pediatrician may um, either put some scotch tape around the anal area to try to catch the worms or they may ask you to do that at home. The scotch tape test is actually the most um, reliable test that we have for checking for pinworms. Luckily, pinworms is easily treatable with an oral medication called Mebendazole or Vermox. Uh, your doctor will likely request that everyone in the family take the medication just because sometimes you can have pinworms and not be symptomatic, so they don't want people reinfecting each other in the household. And then also cleaning all of the child's linens, um, towels and sheets and things with hot water to try to get rid of any additional pinworm eggs that might still be around. So pinworms, not extremely dangerous, but can be extremely annoying. If you think your child has them, talk to your pediatrician.